Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 11 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2, triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.5, exercises 2.1 and 2.2, examples 1 to 8, and questions 1 to 10 from exercise 2.3. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. So question number 11 from exercise 2.3 chapter 2 triangle says in figure 2.40 E is a point on side CB produced of an isosceles triangle ABC with AB is equal to AC. If AD is perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to AC, prove that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECF. Here they are saying as the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle and the side CB is produced to a point E and we have the perpendiculars AD perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to AC. Okay, so we have to prove the triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECF. That is ABD is similar to triangle ECF. So we have to prove these two triangles to be similar. So now let us first write down what is given here. So here they have given us that the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So write down that given triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. So in an isosceles triangle, we have two sides will be equal, right? So the side AB is equal to the side AC. So that is what they have given us. Properties of an isosceles triangle you have already studied in your previous classes where if a triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, then in an isosceles triangle, two sides of the triangle will be equal. So if AB is equal to AC, then the angles opposite to the sides will also be equal. Angle opposite to the side AB is angle C and angle opposite to the side AC is angle B. So we can write angle B is equal to angle C. Similarly, if they have given two angles are equal in an isosceles triangle, then the opposite sides of that angles will also be equal. So here again, angle B is equal to angle C. So I write down angle B is equal to angle C. So now let us prove the triangle ABD is similar to triangle FEC. So in triangle A B, D and triangle E, C, F. If we take these two triangles and if you notice angle B is equal to angle C, right? So we will write angle A, B, D is equal to angle E, C, F. Angle A, B, D is equal to angle E, C, F. So we can write since ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. Okay. Since AB is equal to AC, then the opposite angles are also equal. That is angle ABD will be equal to angle ECF. Right. So now since they have mentioned that AD is a perpendicular to the side BC, then the AD forms 90 degrees on both the sides of the perpendicular, right? So here if you notice in triangle ABD, angle D is equal to angle F that is equal to 90 degrees. Both these angles are 90 degrees because of the perpendiculars AD and EF, right? So write down angle, angle BDA is equal to angle EFC, AD is perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to AC, right? So now you can notice the two angles of triangle ABD and triangle FEC are equal. We can apply the angle-angle similarity criteria here and we can prove that the triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECF. So by angle-angle similarity criteria, we can say that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECF. So hence proved. So this is what we had to prove. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section.
In my next video, I'll be solving question number 12 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangle. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen. Thank you.